Who sits at your drum with you? Me and my three brothers, Jamie, Jason, and Pokey, um, Gene Boje, Joe, Joe Dick, um, Rocky Makes Room, Brian Stillley Jr. and Sr., about nine, ten of us. Mm. Are they all from Fond du Lac, or they come from other communities as well? Um, Red Lake, Net Lake, um, Rockies from South Dakota, Rosebud. Um, everybody else is from Fond du Lac. So right now we're in a pretty relaxed mode. When do you think the drums will fire up? Um, usually you started with warm-ups about 7 o'clock. Um, I know we're going to bring our drum out tonight, sing a couple songs. Friday night warm-ups are uh, pretty relaxed and uh, gives people a chance to get home after work, get their uh, lawn chairs, their coolers, and uh, maybe tape up their that little hole in their mock. And I know yeah. for myself, I'm always ironing my shawl at the last minute. <laughs> so Friday night's kind of the time to do it. And are you are, do do singers have to do anything at the last minute? Got to get our voices ready. We got to eat. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. We just like I got off work today, and I just called everybody on the drum route to uh, get them out here and make sure everybody's gonna be out here. But I, it's different for dancers. I never dance, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. You have to bring your uh, gargling, uh, your bottle of mouthwash to gargle with, or. <laughs> We got the uh, some some root we chew. Uh, sometimes they'll chew. Is that bear root? Like or we can. We can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I know a couple of my a couple of the singers on the drum. They'll they'll chew on that. So any special songs you have lined up for this weekend? Um, we we are getting ready to record a CD. We are planning on recording live at the Fond du Lac Veterans Power. So. We're, oh, nice. We're going to hit some powwows and get ready, get some songs together, and hopefully have a good recording at the Veterans Pow. How do you do that? I've always been curious how drums get recorded live. Do you bring your own sound system in? Um, we're going to work with Soldier Hill Records, I think. Um, he's going to bring all of his own equipment in, and as long as he's got an outlet to plug into, he's ready to go. Nice. We will be broadcasting live from the Veterans Powo as well, so we'll be able to catch you doing your live recording. Yeah, that'll be that'll be good. Um, it's pretty interesting to have the the radio out here. We've uh, it's never happened before, so we're kind of excited for it too. Yeah, you guys will have to be now that you know you're going to be broadcast all over northeastern Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> All the drum groups are they're gonna be like, Well, we better sing really good. Yeah. <laughs> if you make a mistake, everybody's gonna know about it. <laughs> yep, yep. Hopefully that's not gonna be us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the MC's gotta keep it clean. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so though. <laughs> you don't think they will? Yeah, it's pretty funny yeah, sometimes. I yeah. I know they like to have a lot of fun with the with the crowd and with each other. Miigwech for joining us here. Thank you for Good. having us. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to the Powell community for uh, asking Cedar Creek to co-host. Um, we're honored, and we're ready to go.